Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you to this beautiful location and I'm going to show you how to do this painting from start to finish. Well, here we are. This is one of my favorite locations. My parents took me here when I was about 10 years old and I really fell in love with this place. We hiked up over these rocks. I saw this view and I actually ended up painting it. And that's actually the view that got me in my first gallery. So this has been a really important place in my career and I've probably painted almost every tree here by now. I love it here. So right now I'm looking for something that really captures my eye and will work on a five by 10 foot canvas. So that's a two to one aspect ratio. So I really wanna make sure that the subject that I choose to paint fits that. And of course, I wanna be inspired as well. So that's what we're looking for. See what we can find. Well, here we are, we're back in the studio. So this is that big five by 10 foot canvas I was telling you about. And this is the image I took on location. So when I look at this image now, I have to decide what color I'm gonna paint onto the surface. And then that will be the base for the rest of the painting. Looking at this image, I think a nice pinky magenta kind of color will work best. So I'm gonna paint this all one color first, and then I'm gonna work on drawing this image onto the canvas. And after that, we'll be into the more fun, bigger colors. So all the paint I use is actually oil paint. So the quickest way to get it on the canvas when I'm trying to cover this large of a space is just to squeeze the tube right onto the surface. Uh, now that I've added all these colors, the color I'm gonna mix out of this is actually gonna be that magenta that I was telling you about. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my paint thinner and I'm gonna actually paint this onto the surface and then mix it around with paper towels and that way I'll be able to evenly tone the canvas one color.
So yeah, here we are, the color's on the canvas now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw the image with a nice dark kind of mixture of paint. I'm actually gonna use a tape measure to run my horizon line to make sure it's perfectly straight. And then that way I'll use that as a reference point for the rest of the drawing and everything will look just right. Now that I have that horizontal line down, which is kind of my horizon line, now I can use it as a reference point to draw the rest of the image. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of working across, putting in this distant hillside here. And then once that's in place, the next step I usually do is work on the focal point. Welcome back to the studio. This painting may look like it's completely finished, but actually it's only about halfway done. So what I have to do now is I have to do an entirely new layer of paint on top, and that will help to make the highlights really pop and really help to bring out the details in the shadows. I'm also going to do a dark line drawing over the entire image, which will help to bring the details together and really help to add a lot more interest in these kind of grayed out shadowy areas. Once all those things are done, this painting should be finished. Well guys, this painting's finally finished. I'm super happy with how it turned out. The sunlight really adds a nice sense of warmth on the rocks and the overall composition really turned out well. I hope you guys liked today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.